there welcome to my channel this is Mary Mary Humphrey coaching I have kindness on my mind again this is a topic that I've talked about a couple of times recently but one thing that has come to my mind are some discussions that I've had with clients and friends regarding kindness and how you can extend your kindness out that much more and it goes along with forgiveness and it goes along with love and what we've been taught through the Bible, through God's Word, to love others and to be kind. But what this involves is, is putting away our human feelings. It's setting our human feelings back to the point where it allows us to give others grace and it allows us to give some more kindness. When someone irritates us and they irritate us over and over again, we have to fight that humanistic feeling to get grumpy inside and to not want to be nice to this person and to actually want to be able to tell them that they're they're bothering us and in some situations such as at a really good close friendship type marriage you can figure out ways to tell this person that that really does hurt my feelings or that really does bother me and I'm trying not to be oversensitive can we just kind of work on this together and that works in those relationships but when it's a relationship like once removed from that you have to take a gulp of grace and give it back to the person to issue that kindness so if someone irritates you or they say something that seems a little bit off, and I'll tell you an example of this. I have a really bad allergy going on right now. And the other day when I answered someone, when I said, they said hello to me and I said hello back, they mocked me. It, and, it, and they mocked me in a way that didn't seem very kind to me because many of us would say, well, are you doing all right? Instead of mocking the person's voice. So here's the gig. What I had to do was take a step back, reach in and say, Holy Spirit, help me out here. I had to say a little prayer in my head, a silent prayer. I need to be kind to this person because maybe they think I'm being grumpy and that's why I responded the way I did. Maybe they're just outside of their realm and thinking too much of what they're in to in the moment to stop and think that I'm not feeling well. It's up to me in that situation to just give them the grace. So say, hey, good morning. Say it back to them. Ask them how their day is going. And then, and then when they ask you, how are you doing? You can tell them if you notice my voice, I don't feel very good. Well, the look on this person's face totally changed. There was no more mocking. You see how that works? It's just a matter of going into our human mind and giving a better reaction, giving it a moment rather than striking back, rather than feeling frustrated. Give that person a chance. Give that person a positive response that might help their day. And this old adage, it's getting really old. It's like the ripple. You throw the rock in the water and the ripple keeps on going. That's what happens when you give someone a positive experience and you add to their day. That positive experience keeps on going instead of a negative one that goes, we don't want negativity to spread. So it's up to us to spread the positivity. And I know Pollyanna type of thing. Yes, it is. It takes effort. Kindness really does matter, but it goes a step further. We have to bury our human emotions, our human sinful, I just want to be mean to this person because I don't like what they're saying to me or I don't like the fact that they mocked me, how I answered them. Instead of that, we need to give that person something. We, have, we need to give something to their day. And when we do that, it changes the whole aura of the situation. It changes the whole realm of the situation in a person's life, in a person's day, and in yours. 
And you know, as a human, it actually takes more effort sometimes to be kind than it does to be grouchy or to be snappy or whatever. Because those, those are easy to come off. It's easy to say, oh, gosh, that person just irritated me. But take a moment. Bite your tongue. No, don't hurt yourself. Just take a moment. Take a deep breath. What is good in that person? What can you say to change the realm of the air that that person is in that day? What can you say that will help carry on, will help pass on positivity from that person on to others? You see, we're all responsible for that. But I see where it's just not really visible in so many realms these days. A lot of it in social media. I have abstained from a lot of social media recently. Do I like doing that? No. But social media has turned very negative, And I don't want to partake in that. I also want a positive life. And I'm not going to entertain my life with the negativity of others. I'm just not going to do it. Is this a perfect solution to everything? No, by any means, it is not. But I don't. I can. I can think of hundreds of situations where, if others had held their tongue, waited a moment, said something positive, it would have changed the whole trajectory of the situation with whoever they're irritated with. Even if you feel like somebody's abusing you, and I'm not saying abuse is fine, but emotionally abusing you, say something nice to them. That'll throw them off track. And don't use it as, um, well, I guess you could. You could use it as armor. You could use it as a weapon. If you want to blow up someone's bad mood by saying something kind, Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. You have changed them at that moment in time. So that's my lesson for the day. It's just to take a moment and say something kind. Stay focused. Take control of your facial expressions. Take the frustration out. Take the anger out. And just, how are you doing? Good morning. Hope you have a good day. And let this other person calm down and see that you're coming from a different place. You change that pattern, that negativity, one person, one moment at a time. You can't change the world, but you can change your little piece of it. Take a deep breath, go into yourself, say a little prayer, and come back with something that will change the moment. Try it. I think you'll like it. Let me know if you've experienced anything like this and, and um, how you've changed the uh, whole air of things. And I mean A-I-R air. And uh, thank you for watching my channel. And, and this has been a short little video. But if you liked it, please remember to click like. It helps my channel out. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a wonderful day and God bless.